Every year in Cuba, from November to May, it's time to cut cane. Using harvesters built in Soviet times, the island's sugar industry is in decline. In the 1980s, it produced 8 million tons of sugar a year. Last year, it managed less than half a million. But these workers now face more difficulties than ever before. This year, the cane is overgrown with weeds. There's no herbicide and no fertilizer for the cane. You've got to feed the cane. If not, it doesn't grow well. For this harvest, Cuba used 10 times less herbicide and fertilizer than six years ago. That's largely because in the last six years, unprecedented maximum pressure US sanctions have nearly bankrupted the island's economy. Sugar is part of Cuba's national identity. Cane was first brought to the island more than 500 years ago by the Spanish. Slaves were shipped here to cut it, and to transport cane to refineries, Cuba became the first country in Latin America to have railways. But scant cane deliveries mean this refinery, which was built to run continuously, is often shut down. We've had to turn off the refinery quite a few times this last month because there's not enough fuel and things break when we turn it back on again. And breakdowns are harder to handle when there's no cash. Last year's harvest, 32 refineries were running. Now it's down to 23. There's not enough money for spare parts. And engineers here are now cannibalizing parts from out-of-use refineries to keep production going. Cuba's National Sugar Company has indicated it's unlikely to hit this year's unambitious plan. This is the first year that Cuba doesn't plan to export more sugar than it consumes. This island built on sugar, which once exported more than any other country, is heading for its worst harvest in more than a century. Ed Augustin, Al Jazeera, Cienfuegos, Cuba.